All right, Champions League final time, 2056. Such a regular occurrence. Uh, this one means, you know, a little bit more since it is to match the 15 Champions Leagues of, of Real Madrid and of Liverpool, who we knocked out in the semi-finals. This is so significant. Liverpool now got 40, champ uh, 40 Premier Leagues from out of nowhere. Disgusting, disgusting. Look behind us. We got a mascot for this episode. Say hello, Noodle. Hello, Nube. You gonna say hello back? Oh, what a lad. What a lad. Okay, team selection for the big match. Might check the transfer history just in case we did bring anyone new in, which is confirmed not to be the case. We did win the bgl league title by 100 points credit to rumelange for the soul draw let's go and get it i think we got 10 substitutes romolo up there we're not having robin as our forward he will be dropped to the bench Gadil kim as a midfielder have that, have that. Let's go win another fucking title. I, you know what? I didn't check if there were any long players out at uh, Real Madrid. That's a bit of a problem. I see some old names. Plessy is obviously the big one. Simon Warner has just gone and uh, signed for them. Ruben Gomez is in there as well. Arana is one of our old players. Raphael Beck must be getting on, mate. Come on, this is a big, big tie, big tie. A couple of massive clubs with huge players. And Titus Patanj have an early throw in before I can even check what these certain players are at right now. Saran spins it in, Axel Claude over the bar. So Mazeg was about 35. Because he is... Uh, he is one of the players that I was looking at maybe potentially changing to a staff member. At this moment in time, I've got a very short short list of uh, potential... Oh, staff members. Staff members are definitely the thing that we needed to talk about. Yes. Um, Raphael Beck. Let's talk Raphael Beck. He is 37 now. Staff. Definitely a staff member. Looks like a manager. Uh, does he? Head of youth development. No. Um, there's a potential there, I guess. Uh, let's go staff members before I forget again. So this year, we brought in Robert Makovic. We were talking about maybe being a head of youth development, but he did get a terrible role. Uh, his role was, what, 169. So I decided, 168, it's not even 169. Um, so I decided, uh, he's probably better as a coach. So he's dropped as an under 18 coach. And before that was Mill Rinders, if you didn't know. Uh, he is under-18s assistant manager. I think I've got two under-18s assistant managers. Um, next season, it looks like Shin Young Ho might come in, even though he's not got great working with youngsters. Uh, there is another lad as well. A name's gone f away from me for now, but he is a very memorable player from that era of Titus Patanj. There are two names. Saran! Ah! Yes, mate. Savo Saran scores for Titus Patanj in the Champions League final. And we've been all over Real Madrid, to be honest. So it's not like it hasn't been coming. Saran off that left-hand side. Plezier in the mud. Plezier in the mud. Thank you very much. And Saran... At 20, whatever, however old is he, 23, scores in his third Champions League final at 23. He's going to try and get that Ballon d'Or back. It's not a crazy victory at this moment in time. It's not the free scoring that you saw last year. But uh, very dominant, incredibly dominant from Titus. Lots of um, lots of black on the match stats. 60 minutes gone. Let's make a sub. 
I see why not. Axel Robin in his more suited right midfield position. Uh, we can change Kim for one of the other midfielders. Bower is certainly good enough to be playing at this level. And then we'll go Agresta. Of course, we'll go Agresta. We'll go very risky on the triple substitution. And this might be a key highlight before the triple substitution's even made. Now, if this is an equaliser for Real Madrid, I might have to change everything. Saran tries to nod it down. It's Romolo into the bottom corner. And he's got even more comfortable for Titus Batanj, who are close to getting their 15th. Uh, I believe this would be five on the bounce. That's crazy, isn't it? it? Shows you the level of dominance that we're just so... It's so comfortable. And of course... <laughs> you better believe it. It can't, it can't just go perfect in the Champions League final. Something must happen. Uh, we're down to ten men. And we'll hold firm. I'm sure we'll hold firm. The defence is solid enough. Actually, we just registered under the shot, I think. Four shots, one on target. Even with 10 men, it's um, well, it's been an absolute calamity for Real Madrid. Boy, that was easy enough, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. Fuck me, boys. That was that was really, really exquisite football. Uh, defensively solid, which is good because we obviously we sold some really top centre-backs in January and still seem absolutely fine with it. The tactic is golden. The players are generational. And Tyus Batanj lift their 15th and record equaling Champions League trophy. It's not the greatest of Champions League finals. Really, really dominant by Tyus Batanj. Um, but there it is. It's the best way to get our 15th. To sweep over Liverpool. To sweep Real Madrid. They weren't really in the games neither team shows that this Titus Patanj side are as, are as good as they've ever come we have finally matched them up on Champions League victories guys how about that Onganya oh no Onganya well it's bad news for Onganya it's fucking unbelievable goal news for Savo Saran that's horrific um, out of six, I mean, a like, small chance for either. I mean, it'd be club doctor then, it just saves me a bit of money, I guess. It's the exact same waiting time for him. That's that's horrific news for Onganio. Ah, <sighs> Tyus Potenge board. Yeah, it's it's it soured it a little bit, hasn't it? Uh, we got European Championships to come in the summer, but I don't think we'll be covering any of that because it, it's just when Luxembourg. Uh, I'll I'll show the next time I show them is either if they qualify for a World Cup and we'll watch the first World Cup game or if they get through the group stages of the European Championships and we'll watch the first knockout game. That's how we do it. Once we watch the first knockout game, then it'll be a similar situation to this, I guess. That we might get a quarter final in us as well, but usually semi-final final situation. Ah, oh, so yeah, good. We've won our fifteenth title. Bad on Ganya, who's like the best striker in the world right now, has just suffered a pretty brutal injury, and um, he might not be exactly the same when he comes back. Man's man's stats are looking very yelled out at the moment. Very yelled out. <sighs> Sad and happy. We, I mean, we always we always find a way and we always rotate. And now that I've won the Champions League, Noodle has got off the bed and he wants to get out of the room. I mean, he just wanted to be here for the for the historic Champions League. I total respect to you, pal. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens, bro. It's a bit sour, isn't it? That's such a sour taste at the end. But uh, 15 Champions Leagues... Yeah, not bad. And Savo Saran about to become a three-time Ballon d'Or winner and technically be better than Paradiso, which I, I don't, I still don't get. Bye-bye. Oh, no, wait, no, we got... I wait for the 10 minutes. 
Let's talk about stats. Ongani has scored 53 goals through the season. Savo Saran, highest average rating. Axel Robin, 31 assists. But best pass completion, Jacopo Agresto. Savo Saran for the most player of the match awards. And most yellow calls with Jacopo Agresto. That shows you how, how quick and easy and efficient... Oh, bloody chair. And quick, easy and efficient the Champions League final was. We didn't even reach 10 minutes. But now we have. Bye.